All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today this is a continuation of my previous video of how to add an ID net point to a panel. Now we are actually going to add a custom label to that ID net point. So we still are working with point 13 that we added in the last video. So we are just gonna jump right in. The first thing we're going to do is again, go to menu. We are then going to log in to our level four password. Level four count, this will give us a service mode trouble that we cannot clear until we restart the panel. Next thing we're going to be doing is control and, no, my bad, wow. Whew, sorry, programming. I don't even know why I went there. And we're going to hit enter to tell it it's okay, we know we are in programming mode. We are going to configure points and the true alarm, we are, gonna really even discuss those ever. These are your points and pull stations, relays and your NACs. So we are going to go into our points and pull stations. We are then going to edit our ID net point and we're going to go to the very last point which is M113. We're also gonna go silence the enunciator because that gets annoying really quickly. I'm going to enable control and acknowledge. Anywho, back to this. We are then going to enter because that is the point that we want. We are gonna scroll all the way down to edit point label. And that's one way to do it, which is kind of annoying. Like if you just wanna change like one or two characters, you can do that. Or you can do what I like to do is we're then going to enter. Instead of edit point label, clear point label. And that makes it the easiest if you wanna completely change the name like I'm going to do. You just get rid of all the characters. You don't have to worry about changing characters up and down. You hit enter and you start brand new. So we can start putting in our letters by using our up and down arrows here. It's kind of a pain. Like I wanna go, like I wanna do storage pull is how this is going to be labeled. And so we have to go in and do every letter by using our up and down keys each letter. So there, now we have it labeled as storage pull M113. So once we have our label done after that tedious process of going up and down in every letter, number, and character in the simplex panel alphabet, once we're done, we hit enter. We hit enter to confirm. So it's operation complete and you're done. Then once you're done, you hit exit, 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 and we want to save our configuration. It tells what it's doing. It's saving its labels right now, saving its current configuration, changing the labels now to how we want them, and putting in the new configuration, and it restarts. Wait for it to do its code scan, and now we're doing a panel startup. And here we are. So now, when that point goes into alarm, as we're going to do right now, that was really anticlimactic. It may not boot it up fully yet. Ah, God, this key sucks sometimes. now say storage pull M113. I don't know why it didn't go off. It just, the ID net chip on it must not boot it up fully yet uh, from having complete loss of power. So we'll fault it to that. So that has been adding and labeling 
an ID net point on a Simplex 4010 fire alarm control panel. So, thank you guys for watching. And, as always, if I can find my key. Eh. Have a wonderful day.